it's brilliant. The research is great, the atmosphere is great, the people are wonderful, it's a very nice place to be. I've been here about uh, three and a half years um, and I've enjoyed every minute. Um, the community is great and the atmosphere is wonderful. Engaging, inspiring and great science. The Bernstein Centre Freiburg is not just any research institute. It builds bridges between biology, mathematics, physics and engineering. Its researchers are united by one common goal, to understand how the brain works. The brain is a highly uh, complex system and it needs therefore interdisciplinary approaches. And this is the nice thing here at the BCF because we have people from all kinds of backgrounds. We have mathematicians, we have physicists, we have biologists, we have engineers, computer scientists. And I think this expertise combines well in order to understand the deep questions about how the brain works. The specialty of the Bernstein Center Freiburg is the systematic study of brain dynamics, the concerted evolution of neural activity in brain networks over time. Das Gehirn besteht aus Nervenzellen und diese Nervenzellen bilden ein Netzwerk. Deswegen kann man schon sagen, dass die Funktion des Gehirns nur auf Basis von Netzwerkdynamik verstanden werden kann. Die Aktivität der Nervenzellen entwickelt sich ja im Laufe der Zeit und mich fasziniert eben ganz besonders die Frage, wie die Struktur der neuronalen Netzwerke im Gehirn die Funktion des Gehirns beeinflussen oder, oder sogar bestimmen. Exploring the mechanisms of brain function in neuronal networks calls for structured action. A combination of experimental and theoretical approaches is particularly effective. Computer simulations and mathematical models are helpful in casting the steadily growing amount of experimental data into a coherent picture. Neural network models incorporate knowledge about anatomical and physiological properties of nerve cells and networks. They also provide new insight into what exactly happens when certain regions of networks cease to function properly, such as in Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease or after a stroke. The BCF is a network itself. It brings together scientists from different disciplines and profits from the emerging synergy. As a multidisciplinary research center at the University of Freiburg, it has its own research infrastructure. The Bernstein Center Freiburg is further supported by the Carl Zeiss Foundation and other funding organizations. Das menschliche Gehirn ist ein faszinierendes Organ und dessen Erforschung ist eine aufregende Entdeckungsreise. Deshalb ist das Bernstein Center Freiburg für mich eine ganz besondere Institution. Und ich freue mich außerordentlich, dass dessen Forschungsergebnisse unmittelbar in die Lehre einfließen können. The BCF is also a leading partner in the Trinational Eurocampus Initiative. This EU-funded collaboration between the universities of Basel, Strasbourg and Freiburg provide unique opportunities for across-border study programs and research projects. In just over 10 years, the Bernstein Center has grown from a small group of dedicated neuroscientists into an internationally acknowledged research hub. Today, there are close to 100 individuals involved, either directly or indirectly with the research at the BCF, including postdoctoral, PhD and master's students from all over the world. It's a very good environment, it's very inspiring. We, it's a very international environment. We have a lot of students from different countries. And we also have people from different fields. So it's a multidisciplinary group, So, which makes us have a very global idea of how the brain works. And that's very exciting. It is also an important concern of the BCF to make its research accessible to the public. To this end, the Bernstein Center has created the Bernstein Werkstatt, where events such as Café Scientifique or Science Jam attract large audiences on a regular basis. Over the past years, the Bernstein Center Freiburg has gained essential new insights into the function of neural networks and the dynamics of neuronal processes. Now, its researchers prepare for the next step, to study and understand the neuronal mechanisms underlying specific brain diseases.
Zeit der Mensch sich bewusst ist, dass das Denken im Kopf stattfindet, ähm, hat er auch die Frage gestellt, wie dieses Organ strukturiert ist und wie seine elektrischen Eigenschaften dazu führen, dass die Funktionen des Gehirns umgesetzt werden. Umgekehrt kann man aber sagen, wenn dieses Organ nicht mehr richtig funktioniert, verletzt wurde oder an einer Krankheit leidet, dass dann ein besseres Verständnis der Dinge, die falsch laufen im Gehirn, natürlich letztendlich und langfristig auch dazu führt, dass wir bessere Ideen haben, wie äh, Krankheiten des Gehirns äh, therapiert und behandelt werden können. Musik